Greetings. My name is Obake Stiani and I'm currently studying at the Central University of Technology. Today I'll be taking you through my presentation of my project and the actual demonstration of the project, which is a smart solar powered lawnmower. The reason for designing this project is because during low shading times, lawnmowers cannot operate due to power outage. So I've designed this amazing uh, uh, project to overcome that problem. Here it is my problem statement, which is my proposal now. It is my problem statement and the description of my project. And here it is my block diagram on the left hand side. On the left side, it is my sensors, which is my inputs to my Arduino Uno, which is my microcontroller. And here it is all my outputs. And here at the outputs, I have my Wi-Fi module, which reads the state of sensors and send the information to ThingSpeed. And here I have the actual connection of my project, which is my schematic. As you can see here, I have my relay, which is connected to the DC motor. And the DC motor is a 9 volts DC motor and it needs an external battery. This is the connection. And here it is also a connection, which is my PCB printed circuit board. If anyone is interested on uh, uh, taking this project or doing this project, this is the, 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 the print step. And here it is my flowchart, how my software or how my code is operating. This magical code, as you can see here, it is a start. And here it is a delay at the end. Here we have declared all the pins. And here, this is the um, decision-making block. And this is the functional block, which is my output. This is my sensors. And yeah, it is looping back. It is always looping. Here, it is the working on breadboard of my project. This is um, the switch. As you can see, it gives this project uh, a great advantage for easily to operate because it has a switch. This is an ultrasonic sensor, buzzer. All my components are, are shown here, the physical uh, connection of my component. Now I'll be taking you through the demonstration of my project. And here at the back here, as you can see, this is uh, my microcontroller. And in here, as you can see that green light there, that's my IR sensor my infrared sensor and here I have my two LDRs and my solar panel that is mounted on a separate motor and here I have my ultrasonic sensor I have my uh, switch uh, LCD buzzer and my two uh, RGBs that represent my LEDs and this is the the external which is um static suite uh, static relays and this relay here it, it is operating the blade which is under here and this is my uh, rechargeable battery which is been charged by uh, um the solar panel and yes uh, now i'll be taking you through my demonstration now there is nothing that is happening we can continue cutting the grass I will switch on uh, uh, my my blade. The blade is on. We are cutting the grass, and the LCD here is displaying no object detected, and the green LED is on, and the blade is on. Now let's say you are busy cutting the grass. You are busy cutting the grass, and then you come um, towards a hard object when you come to to hit a hard object an ultrasonic sensor will detect and trigger the buzzer and the red led and the um, lcd displays uh, object detected for safety purpose let me switch it off to demonstrate the the ir sensor part um, my IR sensor is, I have uh, uh, installed it here. Uh, the, the reason for installing it here is for it to detect the distance between the blade and the, and, and the ground. 
if the blade is near the IR sensor should trigger the buzzer and the red LED. This is for safety purpose to alert the user that they are damaging the blade or they could damage the blade. Here it says, as you can see here, the, the buzzer is on and the red LED is on. Now uh, uh, the user have uh, um, readjusted the blade or readjusted the machine. Um, I'll be using my phone or my light as a solar radiation. This um, solar panel, it should track the, 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 the light, which is uh, solar radiation uh, by these two LDRs and the use of a server motor. The light is coming from this side. The sun, uh, the, the solar panel is facing so that it can get the maximum radiation. If the light moves, the solar panel should also move towards the side that, this, that, that the light is to continue um, operating at maximum. As I'm busy uh, um, demonstrating uh, um, the, the state of my sensors is being recorded uh, through the use of ISP module, which is here, which is here. As you can see here, it is blinking blue to indicate that it's connected to the Wi-Fi. So it reads the information of my sensors and store it to think speak as you can see it says less than a minute ago and this is the waves that it is displaying which is the the state of my sensors and now i'll be taking you through the backup if the load shading happens i'm i'm using my pc as the grid from my school and this wire here it is for the grid if i remove it Everything goes off to indicate that it is load shading and now the backup has to kick in. The backup has kicked in. As you can see, we are not using my PC anymore to supply my microcontroller. My microcontroller is being supplied as we can as you can see and everything is still reloading. Everything has reloaded successfully. Uh, let me say you come, you are cutting. The, uh, the um, ultrasonic is detecting. IR is detecting. All my sensors are functional. By the help of, by the help of uh, uh, my my backup, which is my battery. I thank you, sir.